guess you guys aren't ready for that yet, but your kids are going to love it. Remember that quote from Marty McFly in Back to the Future 1? Well, stay tuned to learn how it relates to a top reason as to why startups fail. Hey everybody, I'm Matt Wolf, the Wolf of Journey, and I prepare founders to secure funding for their startup or small business. And today, I want to talk about reason number eight that the CB Insights survey cited as a reason as to why startups fail. And that reason is product mistimed. A great example of this is a company called Webvan. And in the late 1990s, Webvan emerged as a trailblazer in the dot-com era. Armed with nearly $800 million in funding, automated warehouses, and a fleet of delivery trucks, they aimed to revolutionize grocery delivery. Hmm. But sometimes being ahead of your time can unfortunately lead to spectacular failure. The company, which was founded by Lewis Borders, yes, the same Borders behind the bookstore chain, promised customers the convenience of ordering groceries online and having them delivered within a 30-minute window. Sounds familiar, right? Fast forward to today and Instacart dominates the market. So what went wrong for a web van? Couple things here. Number one, they overbuilt their infrastructure by building state-of-the-art warehouses causing, costing $35 million each. These warehouses house the food, adding complexity and expenses. In contrast, Instacart leverages existing grocery store infrastructure. Also, they were pushed too aggressively to expand by their venture capital investors. They plan to launch in 26 markets within 24 months without nailing down a successful model in even one city. Instacart, on the other hand, grew organically. So I'd like to go over three lessons to learn here. Number one, timing matters. Being too early can be just as detrimental as being too late. You have to understand market readiness. Is the market ready for this thing that you're looking to build? Number two, lean and learn. Start small, iterate, and validate before scaling. Don't build a billion dollar infrastructure before proving your concept, even if VCs are throwing cash at you at the boatload. And number three, customer-centric approach. Instacart's success lies in understanding customer needs. Every new iteration of the app uh, improves the user experience uh, organically. It wasn't something that they just kind of thought up in the beginning and then added a whole bunch of features immediately. Webban, on the other hand, focused on logistics but missed the mark on what shoppers truly wanted. So in conclusion, Webvan's collapse serves as a stark reminder. Brilliant ideas need impeccable timing. Remember, the road to success isn't just about the idea. It's about when and how you execute it. So don't be like Marty McFly, at least when he said that quote and was playing guitar on the stage, and be way ahead of your time in the market. Don't do that. So if you want to learn more about how we elevate founders to being sophisticated, then reach out to us to learn more. And if you found this video informative, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. That's all for now. The Wolf of Journey is signing out.